Every couple of years, ExxonMobil's Torrance Refinery conducts a major project to ensure the site is operating at its highest reliability and efficiency. And with this project already in the works, residents may notice flares coming from the refinery stacks. So City Cable Channel 3 went into the field to get some answers, and here's what we found. From outside the ExxonMobil refinery fence, a flame burning at the top of the refinery's flare stack can look alarming. It is not uncommon for a neighbor to worry that something is wrong when they see smoke or flames coming from the stacks, or hear the rumbling noise when the flames are in operation. Although the sight of the flares in operation may cause concern, they want to assure their neighbors that occasional flaring is a normal and vital part of keeping the refinery running safely during unplanned operational interruptions and scheduled maintenance activities. We went inside the refinery to see how the flares work. The flare system acts as a safety device for the refinery. During normal operations, materials from the refining process are collected and routed to oil recovery tanks for further processing. There they are converted into products such as gasoline and jet fuel. However, when the operation experiences an interruption, such as an unplanned loss of power, the system is sometimes unable to send these excess materials back to the process units for further refining. Instead, the materials are collected and routed to the refinery flare system. There, the liquid and vapors are combined with steam and burned off. This system ensures maximum combustion of the hydrocarbons and minimizes emissions to the air. What is that rumbling sound we might hear? Occasionally, you'll hear a rumbling similar to what you would hear in a thunderstorm when the refinery flare system is activated. This is caused primarily by the turbulent gases that are being combusted going through the combustion process when they're going to the flare. This is similar to what you may hear in a campfire or your fireplace at home when you're fanning the flames. What is the black smoke? Occasionally black smoke is emitted from the flare system when there's a lack of steam to aid in the combustion for the flares. Refinery personnel are constantly watching the flare system via television monitors so that steam flowing to the flares can be adjusted as needed. In the rare instance of a sudden release of hydrocarbons to the system, there may be a delay in getting steam to the flare system, therefore black smoke may be emitted from the flare stacks. You may be wondering about air quality. Remember, the Air Quality Management District strictly regulates the amount of emissions that comes through the flare stack. These include smoke, duration, and density of smoke as well. The flare system is essential to the safe operation of the refinery. The Torrance Refinery is committed to zero tolerance of any negative impact to our neighbors. ExxonMobil Environmental Foreman, how can I help you? Neighbors of the Torrance Refinery okay, are encouraged to report any concern they have to their 24-hour neighborhood hotline. That number is 505-3158. Should there be a significant chemical emergency that's going to affect the community at large, the City of Torrance Fire Department has a number of different notification tools. The procedures are known as the Torrance Community Warning System. TCWS has six components. The Community Alert Sirens, Crenshaw Street Barriers, the Radio Alert Network, the Community Alert Network, the Emergency Services, and your very own senses. Let's start with the Community Alert Sirens. We sound those sirens only when there's a chemical emergency and only one thing, and that is to request that you shelter in place. The Crenshaw barriers are similar to railroad gates and can be placed to restrict traffic between 190th and Delamo Boulevard and north and south on Crenshaw Boulevard. Let's find out what the radio alert network system is. Those are a series of tone-activated radios. They're located in schools and hospitals and businesses the Torrance Fire Department can actually get real-time live messages out to the community. They can send out pre-recorded messages. The next uh, tool that we have in our, in our arsenal is the Community Alert Network, or CAN. That's a computerized phone bank. And what we can do is we can actually start calling uh, by the hundreds businesses and homes in the city of Torrance and, and target them in a particular zone. There is also the old-fashioned way of sending out police and firefighters into the community. Most importantly, there is you. If you smell a strong chemical smell, if you're worried about that, what we ask you to do is just to shelter in place. Here are some information outlets to keep in mind. City Cable, Channel 3.
KNX 1070 AM, KFWB 980 AM, and City Sounds 1620 on the AM dial. We want to make Torrance a safe place. While ExxonMobil ensures Torrance residents that the maintenance project is just routine and not to be alarmed, they are encouraged to call the 24-hour hotline with any concern or questions. That number is 505-3158. Five members.